Please know the views and opinions expressed during RealBlackClock.com do not necessarily reflect those of the staff and management of CCTV, the Cambridge, the community, the television, anybody else. The views and opinions expressed are of those who are talking. So if I'm talking, then they're my views and opinions. Hold me responsible. You know, just joining us, this is MaximizingProgress.tv, formerly known as HighTechFever.tv. I'm your host, Joe Sponson. My guest today, Sean Broderick, is the executive director of Techstars Cambridge. Cambridge. <laughs> uh, good evening. Welcome to Crime Time. I'm Frank Pascarello, public information officer for the Cambridge Police Department. Nice to have everyone watch from 6.30 to 7 p.m. Okay, you can read Okay. This. Hi, how are you? This is AHA. My name is Susan Allen, and the host of the show is... Michael Coran. Michael Coran. And I'm going to lead us off with a spiritual, oh, freedom. Oh, freedom. Oh, freedom. Oh, freedom. Over me, and before I'd be a slave, I'd be buried in my grave. Oh, freedom over me. So made me think of the difference between words and song. Yeah. And that would be very different. It's something happens when we sing. Absolutely. We go to another, another place in our brain. Sound, a sound place. And seems to transcend our ordinary world. Mm -hmm. Or maybe that is our ordinary world and our, what we consider our ordinary world is a fall from song. The greatest thing, I think, would be to balance it with the words and the sound. Mm. So, um, but, you know, I've been trained classically, so that's a whole different ball of wax, you know. Um, and by, by I mean classically, I mean um, to, to sing bel canto. Which means? Which means beautiful voice, beautiful song. Um, and it came from the late... 17th, 18th century, um, and it was a way of singing which connected all the vowels together so that that's what you heard probably, you know, um, in the last part um, was this kind of connective tissue. It's almost like a drone. Oh, I know, and all singing isn't like that? It's just sing on the vowels? No. Um, uh, you know, um, I remember Mary Travers uh, from uh, If I Had a Hammer, or uh, what's the other one that they sing? hush a don't you cry, go to sleep, ye little baby, when you wake. You shall have all the pretty little horses, dapples and grays, pintos and bays, all the pretty little horses. So it's a little bit different than. That was uh, Belcanto too? No, that's no? not Belcanto. That's. Uh, oh. <laughs> that's uh, that's um, just, but you know that's my training. Is um, I guess I could sing. Um, Look at me, I'm as helpless as a kitten up a tree. I don't know. I mean, I still have that kind of training in there, so I'm I'm not sure. But I listened to Lady Gaga, and she definitely has training this oh, last you, you month. Sing, you sing much better than oh, I don't know. Way about that. better, no? Is that true? <laughs> you really, you really think so? I think I think it's just uh, uh, 
you know, singing is a fascinating thing because people have voices and they're kind of wedded to what's going on inside of them. And, you know, when you start to mess with that, in other words, when you start to, quote, make things more beautiful, more trained, it's really hard to get back to what you and I call prosody, which is in the poetry. So there's a song that I'd like you to sing. I know you said you had a little condition, but I think your vocal cords, um, if you ever need a friend, can you um, give us a little, do you feel like it? Sure. You would, okay. Although, go ahead. I, if I was the audience, I'd much rather hear Susan, you might sing it. No, go ahead. <sighs> if you ever need a friend, who will love you through the end. I'm your friend through the end. I'm your friend. If you ever need love that will fit you like a glove, I'm your love like a glove. I'm your love. If you fly through the sky, I will fly nearby. If you fall from the sky, I will glide by your side. So wherever we go, even when we're like foes, we are friends, loving friends, through the end. The end. Nice. So speaking about sound, that was wonderful. I've discovered, I don't know if it's true, but I'll have to listen to this, that I've had great singing teachers, Louise Grasmere and Susan Allen. It's a wonderful singing teacher. And I have a hoarse voice from many challenges. And, but they've taught me to sing from the heart, which is very, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't have to be. If it comes from there, it's better than whatever I was trying to do before then anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It would be nice to have the beauty of your sound, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure it's... I think I can sing horse. Tony Bennett does. Oh, he makes a practice of it. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he's built in a gravelly sound to his yeah. voice, you know? So, I don't know, I'll listen and cringe maybe but you said it was right. No, it's lovely. Mm. Yeah, there's mm. there's a resonance. But there's something about the voice that really has an interest. Um, it, people can take a song that they've learned, like Take Me Out to a Ball Game or Let Me Call You Sweetheart. And the vocal cords, it, as bad as uh, old vocal vocal cords get, rusty when you don't if you don't use it you lose it it's the same with any muscle mm -hmm. you know um, if you don't walk and then you start walking you're gonna hurt a little bit but um uh and be from not using those muscles but it's the same way with a vocal cord but somehow the vocal cords know how to come together with a song that's been sung for a very long time. Oh. That's why I asked you to, to sing something oh. very familiar. Oh. You know, you know. Um, and even people with Alzheimer's, you know this by now, but if you don't, just uh, bear with me. Even people with Alzheimer's, if you go into an Alzheimer's unit and you start singing some of the songs that they knew when they were children, they start to go into a different world and they remember those songs. 
And then as you tune out of that song... I'm sorry, I didn't know that with my mother. Yeah, as you tune out of that song. Now, this doesn't happen all so the time. So you're younger than me, so when I, when I start losing everything, you can sing. Yeah, if you yeah, ever yeah. need a friend. Yeah, I'll sing that to you. Absolutely. Why don't you sing the beginning of it now so people can Oh, I don't know it. if I can remember it Oh, all. I see. I'll say the words if you ever... No, never mind. We won't. If you ever need a friend... Who will love you... Who will love you... Through the end... Through the end... I'm your friend... I'm your friend... Through the end... Through the end... I'm, I'm your, your friend... friend. If, if you, you ever need love that fits, fits you like a glove, I'm, I'm your love like, like a glove, I'm, I'm your love. love. We'll stop there. Yes, that was very nice, though. <laughs> so who do we have say hello to today? Christine? Columbia. Columbia. Mm -hmm. um, Anybody else that you know? I'm um, not sure, but just hello, Columbia. And Christine is watching, too? Yes, I think Christine is watching. She um, said she would. Or maybe Gail, if we're lucky. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so. So we have a poem. Want to read it for us? Loves our biz. Well, the title first. Love Incorporated. <laughs> or Inc. Or Love Inc. Loves our biz to know so hugging what is dying to grow. So now after singing, it takes us to a whole new place. <laughs> This poem doesn't quite, I bet, and it's hard to sing since it's a little, yes? Can, can, mm. oh, but you, you taught, we first look at the, how the word, oh, we, we listen to the prose of it, the prosody of it. Yeah, the prosody. And then could make it maybe a little something. Mm -hmm. So let's see, how would we do that? Loves, love, ink. Loves our biz. So how does that go? Loves our biz, right? It's like that. Loves our biz. To know. So. So. Hugging. What, what is. I would say hugging what is. Hugging what is. Dying to grow. I'm not sure what you can do with that. <laughs> I don't know about making that even. Try well. You mm. you have to elongate the the vowel. I think. Loves our biz. Loves our biz. To know, so. Hugging, what is, dying, to grow. I still it's too much for me. Could you could you do something? Loves our biz to know. So, hugging what is, dying to grow. Loves our biz to know, to know, so, hugging what is. It goes just, all of them go the same way, dying, they go up. So mine did not. Oh, oh. Loves our biz. Oh, you did. So I went, loves our biz. I went, loves our biz. <laughs> yes. So I think loves our biz. Yes. It's our business to love. Yeah, you're good at it. So how would you, could you sing this? Loves our biz, loves our biz, loves our biz. That's too high. See, that's too no. high. Yeah. Loves our biz. Loves our biz to know to sew. Not, not but you put it next to know so. To know so. It's kind of like to know and to sew is you didn't put that in, but that's how I feel it is. It, 
to right. love, to know. So I, th I see more. This is almost like that. Love, love, are biz to know. So hugging what is dying to grow. <laughs> love. Yep. Biz. Do no, no. to so. Oh, I do it again. Yeah. To oh, go ahead. Be better. Loves our biz to know. So hugging what is dying to grow. Loves our biz to know. So hugging uh, what, what is, is dying, dying to, to grow. grow. Hope you're still with us, Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> we understand if you're not, Gail. Mm. Okay. Oh, so that's that would be it would need to be way longer, of course. Less less people wouldn't would wouldn't be bored to just see it again and again. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> Loves our biz to know. So hugging what is dying to grow. Oh, now you're a singer. Could you sing that? <laughs> no, that was kind of my rap thing. I mean, that was kind of loves our biz to know. So, hugging what is dying to grow. Yes, it doesn't take. It doesn't go to that other place. Even the if you ever need a friend, there's a certain place you can go to that's kind of an artistic. It mm -hmm. seems mm -hmm. still be in the in the uh, non-Alzheimer's speaking to part of the brain, right? <laughs> This wouldn't get through. Uh, the sound is what's important. Love is our biz to know. So hugging what is dying. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, so that went, it went there. I'm going to try. Um, we do understand if you switch to other channels. Um, oh, that was beautiful. Loving. Love our business to know so Hugging what is dying to grow. Love our bits to know. So hugging what is. Time to grow. Oh, you taught me. Yes, thank you. Yes. Wow. Yes. What a teacher, Susan <laughs> Allen. <laughs> Susan <laughs> Allen, teaching. Wow. <laughs> Taking a. Oh, I wanted to go to that place because you know you the, did go you, to that place. Wow. Let's try another one. Okay. Hope another. you're back, Columbia. Hope you stayed. <laughs> wow. We can put it on. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, no, I think you need another. Oh, there should be a third one here. What? Oh, never mind. You can see it. Okay. Pain, rain. Thanks, pain, for helping me, maybe, not do what is harmful yet again. Well, I'm a little touched. Does that make sense? Yes. That could stop all addictions eventually. Yes. Would you like to do it? Um, I'm so, well, I'll do it once straight, but Susan has converted me to making everything, whether, whether <laughs> if we could do that with Love Inc., we could do this with any of them. Pain Rain, okay, first we're gonna, de we're gonna deal down to, oh, hello, hello, hi, Columbia. Um, thanks, Pain, for helping me maybe not do what is harmful yet again. But now, we're going to the new world, right? <laughs> <laughs> Knowing me, I always wanted to rush to it, which would ruin it. 
and we're going to learn the prosody, right? We'll see how mm -hmm. to... Mm -hmm. Thanks, thanks... I'm going to write it. Thanks, pain, for helping me, maybe... I don't know if I'm doing this right. Not, not do what is. This is all pretty flat. Harmful. How do I make it prosody? Yet, yet again. Is that right? Well... How would you, you can diagram it for see. everybody. You can show people how to do it. You can, I'll, I'll give you something to write on so we don't ruin the, oh, the head, the head, you have it, okay. Thanks. Yep. So, thanks. I would go, thanks, pain, for helping. Oh, yes. Helping. And then this would go, helping, and it would continue, me. So this would continue down to, to me. I would continue this over here. So that can turn into, and that, so that can turn a little into, into song. Thanks, pain, pain for, for helping, helping me. Thanks, me. pain, thanks, pain, for helping me. Yes, that's getting, yes, is that right? Yes. I might have slipped it in while she wasn't listening. And then, and then, maybe. So this would go, maybe. Maybe. Well. Not. And this would be like, not connected. Not. Do. Not do what is harmful. Not do do what is, and then we'd have to connect this, what is harmful. Am I making that? You, you guys get it? <laughs> and then this is by itself, yet again, yet again. So add something similar. Yep. Thanks, pain, for helping me. Maybe not do what is harmful yet again. Wow. This is. You see, you take an ordinary human being and you make him into... That was very beautiful. I'm going to go, oh, I'm going to try too, yes? Well, you could do it one more time, because now that you're getting used to it, let's hear how you're getting into it. What? With, with the title. Maybe not with the title. No. Pain, rain. Thanks, pain, for helping me. Maybe not do what is harmful yet again. Wow, I found an opera singer. Because operas do that. They, they sing their, they even sing, right? <laughs> sing in between songs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Maybe we can do that with our entire lives. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Thanks for joining us, too. Well, maybe you can do it subtly so people don't know. I think other languages have song subtly, right? Spanish, maybe. And they do. From, they do. Not like, you know, New Englanders. <laughs> maybe We're I'm, fine. Uh, We're fine. I'm going to try this. Okay. What a put down that is. <laughs> Thanks, pain, for helping me. Maybe not do what is harmful yet again. Yeah, yeah. I'm nice. going to cry. Nice. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Wow. We only have um, th um, two more minutes. Uh, the experience of singing 
it has a magical effect and if you it has a very healing effect whether you sing whether you feel like you sing well or you don't sing well there's something <laughs> there's something about moving your whole being and having it be as one and the attempt of doing that the, your but you're voice, doing that talking too, though. You're doing, yes, yes, you that's were, true. Because you're, you're a, an extraordinary human being. But can the rest of us become like you? <laughs> I'm just going to hang around here for can a we, long time. This is on, recorded on television. No, but you too, Columbia. You're, we're, just, we're just joining together in this new altered space and time. Right. Singing, and we're not, we, we, we should liberate and dance, too. Dance can do the same, really. Okay, so you take a song. Let me call you sweetheart. Um, I can hardly even say it. Let me call you sweetheart. I'm in love. I'm in love with, with you. you. And it's very different if I said, let me call you sweetheart. I'm in love with you. That is so... Yeah. Uh, yeah. All of life is going to feel so tawdry. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. that we <laughs> it's realize... True. It's true. I mean, now you these, know why you, opera singers go around, they want to sing all yeah, the these time. These words. Because it's such a high. Yes. Oh, so the rest of life must be, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, unless we sing all the time, singing in there. Yeah. So any, even these, these little thought experiments, pain, rain, pain, 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 please teach me not to do what's harmful yet again. But... I guess if you laugh, that could take you to a new place, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have a theory, if we only have 13, 12 seconds, that ordinary life is just a stepping stone into the extraordinary. It's a rest. Vamos a intentarlo de nuevo. Sí.